to show you how to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the SSF, Sega Saturn Emulator, for the Windows operating system. Click Windows, going down Sega Saturn, click Yep, and number two here, SSF, it's the latest version, version 0.12, beta R4, it's the latest version as of this video. So you can click the image, the text, or the download now button. I'm just going to go ahead and click download now. Save, save it to the hard drive. I already have a folder for it. As soon as it's done, close out of Firefox real quick. Let me go open up the folder we saved it to. Right click with WinRAR, extract here, create a new folder for us. Go into it. So we'll go ahead and double click the ssf.exe file. Open up our emulator, downsize that folder. Okay, first I want to go to option, or options, option. Um, and you can set the BIOS and the STV BIOS here if you'd like, but it is actually not required for the simulator, so run just fine without it, so you don't have to do that. CD drive, I have two regular drives and two virtual drives, and I'm actually going to set this to a virtual drive. Um, I'll explain more about that here in just a little bit. So what you need, you need to load it from a, a ROM from a drive though in order to play games with this emulator. Cartridge, that's fine as default. The area code, I'm going to set it to America, Canada, Brazil. Screen, I like to set this to widescreen. If you're going to go full screen, you'll probably want to set this VSync weight or you'll have some, some black bars, some big black bars. I like the bilinear filtering as well. <coughs> Helps to make the, the video actually look quite a bit better. Sound is just fine as it is. Controller, you can set your port 1, port 2. I'm going to go ahead and hit your redefine button so you can associate what keys go with what buttons. Go ahead and do that for up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, L, R, start. Then your rapid buttons, go ahead and sell those real quick as well. You're good there. Let's see. Program 1, 2, 3, 4 have all these different advanced options you can mess around with if you want. None of them are required to really change. If you want to play games except under Program 4, uh, a lot of people say to set no BIOS to check that if you're actually not using BIOS settings. Your easy setting, you can set low compatibility, um, which is the fastest. You can do standard compatibility. High compatibility, slow, highest compatibility, very slow, and full compatibility, which is also very slow. With my system, full compatibility works just fine, so you can tinker around with it if you want. But I'm just going to leave it as a default because that works just as well, it seems like, for me as well. Also, anytime you click OK on the menu, you get this message, SSF, all these question marks. It does that every time. I don't know why. You can just hit OK, though. Things work just fine. I'll show you a couple more things. You can save your states here. You can load them as well. Do snapshot sound recording, do a video recording and exit. Hardware, you can open and close the CD drive if you want to switch your ROMs while the emulator is open. Also under option, graphic, you want to leave all these checked, otherwise you'll be missing textures or sprites. Rotation, that, just leave that on normal. Window size, I like to set it to two times, personally for my 1080p monitor if I'm not going full screen. Looks pretty good there. And then let's see, other things you don't have to worry about there. So now you're going to close out a SFX or SSF, sorry. Um, I have Daemon Tools Lite that I use for a virtual CD drive to actually load these ROMs instead of burning the, the games to um, a disk. And now most ROMs you'll find in Q and bin format. So here in Daemon Tools Lite, you'll just load the Q file up and right click it, go to mount mount to my L drive, which is what I set in the emulator. It's my CD drive, so it's going to mount the image. It'll take just a couple seconds. Boom, autoplay, close out of that. I'm going to move this window out of here. Go back and open up our SF, SSF again, and then it'll just immediately start playing the game. Pretty sweet there. So I'll let it load for just a second, but after that you're good to go as long as you set your controller right. You should, you should be able to play it just fine. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com, we do not host any ROMs, we only host emulators. Uh, if you want to find those ROMs, I suggest just doing a Google search. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave us a comment.